What do you think the Niners' plan at backup quarterback is? Backup quarterback. It's finally good that like backup quarterback doesn't feel like such a spotlight as it has in year, years past, thanks to Jimmy James, Richard Garoppolo. But I think, honestly, first and foremost, they're, they're going to probably look to see if they can get Sam Darnold back. I think they like him. I think it's just this point, it's a relationship thing. It's not so much whether he can do performance. Well, you, you know what? I think it is performance-wise. I think they do think he's a capable quarterback. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Personally, to me, I don't care who you go as quarterback because I don't give a damn about backup quarterback anymore. Can we finally start devaluating this position? This – no. It, no no fan base, no team in the league talks about backup quarterbacks in the last five, six years more than comes the 49ers topics. And it's all because of like Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance. Like, and I get it. it's like, well, if you have a capable backup quarterback, then it's you you have a good talent around you that you can still skate by for a portion of the season. Yeah, sure, but look, if Brock Purdy goes down, you're kind of screwed. You know, you're kind of screwed. But yeah, I think first of all, it's gonna look at Sam Darnold. If not, then just find someone who is a relatively cheap. Uh, back up out there, go for like two, 2.5, and then you're going to draft someone. I fully think that they're going to draft someone. Sign someone cheap and draft someone. Because at this point, start devaluing your backup position. I don't want to hear too much of this. Like, Because every other team in the league, if their quarterback goes down, your season's over. Like, So I'm trying to mitigate and try to find like, oh, we got to find someone who can be our next Nick Foles from six years ago. Like, no, stop. That's not going to happen. Backup quarterback, no mas. Sign someone I, cheap. See, I disagree with you on this. I, I strenuously disagree with you. Like, I'm looking right now, nine quarterbacks played 17 games last year. Then you had Purdy Mahomes and, and Lamar Jackson who you know had that bye week at the end of the year. But like, still, it seems like most teams have to play their backup quarterback at some point in the season. And if I'm that guy Ohio. sucks, then you're in trouble. But look at the Browns. like They had Joe Flacco their season. They made it to the playoffs. Obviously, you're going to need your starting quarterback to come back at some point to win that Super Bowl. But if you could have a backup who just like keeps you in it, like the Bengals did, is that is that Darnold? They th the Niners think it is. I mean, I think they resign him. Frankly, I, I don't, don't think there's a market for him. The same contract that you did with Darnold last year, four point five or was it five million? Essentially, at the end of when it was all said and done, um, like yeah, why? Not, he's why are you good. spending that much? Yeah, he's definitely not. Well, remember last year it was like they probably thought he was actually going to play due to injury or playing time. Like so, that was a little weird, you know, like with that whole quarterback situation. Are you so making five happy. times as much as a starter? Kind of weird, right? Yeah, so I think this year it's like you got to take half of that. So Darnold might be like, "Wait, why am I going to get paid half of that?" Which in context, mm. like Darnold, out of you starting is not going to happen unless Purdy gets hurt. So right, no. so maybe he'd rather go to another team where the quarterback isn't as good. And I keep seeing his name floated around teams like the Steelers or the Bear. I don't know some weird stuff, and I'm like, or the Broncos. I saw, and I was like, "What? He's he's going to offer? So he's going to have offers? So he might go? He might leave? He's I think he's gone probably to be honest. So at that point, find someone two point five. Here you go." I wouldn't mind Jacoby percent for that, but to me, it's like, look, don't, 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 don't empty the coffers for these guys. Don't do a five million dollar deal, you know? Yeah, hey, just resign Brandon Allen and, and draft a guy. How about that? I would, I wouldn't mind. Give Brandon Allen the vet minimum. Here you go, and then draft a guy in like the fifth round. He's making the the minimum minimum, and you have the cheapest quarterback room in the league by far. I don't see why you want to bring in someone who's making significantly more money than Brock Purdy. Like, why? You're not hedging in any way. Brock Purdy's healthy, and he's not proven, but he's close to it. I so, thought the point of him being on this cheap deal was to use that extra money and put it elsewhere, not to spend that extra money on the backup. On the backup. Right, right, that's right. Where, that's why I draw the line. It's like, look, I get it. Like, oh, well, our, our season's not going to be contingent on quarterback. Like, no, that's every team's. What are you talking right. about? It's every team's dilemma. So right. no, put that extra three to four million on a backup and find yourself a more polished guard or, or, or I don't know, a slot court. I don't know. Where are you gonna put that at? Put that anywhere else. Anywhere yeah. else. And yeah. you'll be fine. I, I, yeah, you I, can I, get backup quarterbacks. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them. You you have Brandon Allen, he knows your system, you like him. And you have Brian Greasy and Steve Slowick who drafted Brock Purdy. Give him another crack at it. That's you might get another quarterback who really fits. Your system, it's a very specific system with very specific needs that you might be able to find on day three again. So yeah, sure. I, I'd be kind of disappointed if they signed Sam Darnold. Like, Sam, you seem like a nice guy. You seem like you're going to be in the league a while. Go some like, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Go somewhere where you get you a chance to play. <laughs> You, you know? know why I see Sam Darnold sticking around? It's because he probably he wants to, even for a lesser value. I think he probably can see himself being a long-term backup here. 
I think he can well, do I that. Well, I think learning Kyle Shanahan's system is there's value in that. Like if you're here for a year or two, like all of a sudden he's been here a year. Any team that's running the Niners system, for example, Atlanta. Atlanta might be interested in Sam Darnold because he knows the system as opposed to a year ago when he didn't. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. <laughs>